Capricorn, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get Spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you're interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's over at 7D Tarot. His information is also going to be down below for you. Let's dive right in. We have the star in reverse and the devil card. So right now, there's like this feeling that you're on the right path and everything is aligning and working out for you. However, there are some behaviors and some habits that are holding you back from really implementing the full force of, of your today, which really means that there are particular um, thoughts or habits or behaviors that are influencing the successes of your tomorrow. So just be really mindful about what you're saying yes to, because a lot of the times we say yes to things, but it influences our ability to say yes to even better things had we have just hold off, at, truly tuned in and asked, is this necessary for me to put my energy and focus in in this current time and space, right? And a lot of the time, something, say, for instance, along the lines of if you were on a, a great, um, you know, role, right? You got you had a, a good creative project going, a good creative flow going, everything was aligning in your life, you got an exercise routine, you got your meditation going, and then you have someone call and ask if you want to go to a party or you have family invite you over and your spirit and your intuition was just saying like, mm, I don't know if this is really the best you know, use of our energy right now, we're on such a good path, are you sure you want to do this? But your old self or familiar old patterns would have influenced you to go, you would have gone. So instead of listening and honoring your spirit's needs, you listen to what you used to do. And that is where there'll be a disconnection in your life. And that will be exactly what we mean by not honoring your needs. And you want to make sure you're always in the awareness of what your intuition is guiding you towards. That way, in those moments where you're being in a cross, where you're being, you're in a crossroads, I should say, where you're either uh, creating your tomorrow by keeping up with what you've been doing or falling back into old patterns or behaviors uh, that will not support your new journey just be mindful of that fork there and always be in the place of honoring where you would like your life to go not where your life has been right because once it's like if we don't honor our spirits needs and our intuition it's like it's like repeating a, a, a grade you know it's like when you, you graduate grade three you know we've gone through grade three we don't want to repeat grade three you know what I mean and whenever we uh, don't honor our needs in that present moment, what happens is it's like we're repeating past grades because we keep doing the same things. We keep learning that we have to learn the same lesson. So our actions keep, you know, they stay the same. It's just an awareness of the actions we're taking and are they influencing and supporting where we want our life to go or are they, are we staying in a comfortable, familiar time and space because it is exactly that comfortable and familiar. You got to think a little bit past what past that cap and just know that with um, with your awareness of looking to the future, that's all it will need to generate new ideas of the future, new opportunities. Sometimes, you know, we get caught up in the same rhythms of life and the same patterns of life that we don't even know what to look for. So as long as you know what you want, just just throw it out there. All right, universe, I'm looking for this outcome in my life. Okay, how do I get there? Hands over heart, ask your heart because your angels live in your heart. Your angels always live in your heart, Capricorn, and your angels will guide you to the next step. Because I can see here that your everything is aligning for you. And here we have the three of cups, which is a really good celebratory energy. You know what I mean? It's a time to celebrate. It's a time to recognize your achievements and it's a time to just honor your needs and, and what your needs are because it's leading you towards a beautiful, beautiful time in your life, beautiful space in your life here. Opportunities always flow in by your energy. And I can see that with the wheel card and the nine of pentacles. And so again, the best thing you can do for yourself is just honor what it is that leaves you feeling satisfied, right? What it is that leaves you feeling satisfied, on track, you're doing everything that you're meant to be doing. You're not forcing anything. You're not doing anything more than you need to. You're not anxious about the future or worried about the past. You're simply just in the present moment, creating your life from a place of purpose and abundant energy. That's what it is about really feeling what that feels like to you and really honoring your needs in that moment and knowing that every time you make a choice and say yes to your needs, opposed to making someone else's needs maybe more fulfilled, but disregarding your own needs at that time, the more you choose 
choose yes to yourself is the more you fill your cup up. When your cup's full and you're creating from a full cup place, that's when you're going to get full cup results in your life, okay? You're gonna receive the abundance that you're looking for. And right now you're on a journey. You're moving away from old aspects and old versions of yourself and you're moving forward towards a new, uh, a new time in your life, right? A new chapter in your life. And so again, this is gonna come with those moments where we're almost tested. Oh, here I am in the same time and space that I was yesterday. However, yesterday when I made this decision, I didn't feel very good. Am I gonna make the same decision today and choose not to feel very good? Or am I gonna choose to, to make a choice that is more unfamiliar, but I know it's gonna yield me the results I'm looking for, right? Recently, I've been waking up extra early and going for a nice workout in the morning time before my films. And uh, I have fallen, I, I fell into a, an old pattern of having a little espresso before going because my belief was that if I had a little espresso before exercising, the exercise would be so much better. This was a belief I brainwashed myself with. But if I have that espresso nice and early, because as we know, it interrupts our natural flow and our natural cortisol levels if we drink caffeine too early upon waking up, then it interrupts the rest of our day. We become tired and fatigued the rest of the day, constantly trying to catch up, right? And so it's important to know that you really want to be mindful of those thoughts. So my, my heart's been telling me, you got to stop drinking the caffeine in the morning, but my mind was like, but you're not going to have a good workout. And so I, I abide it. I listen. I'm like, all right, it's not, I'm not going to do it. Today's the day. No way. Right. And I ended up having a better workout that day than I ever had. So you want to be mindful of what's familiar and what your mind is telling you compared to your heart, because you're on your way to receiving everything that you have manifested, everything that is in your heart's desires. Life is looking really sweet for you here, Capricorn. So now the only, the only task you're, 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 you're left responsible with is making sure that you're just very aware, very conscious in every single de decided moment. You know, a lot of the times, for instance, we feel hungry and we go for food, but we're actually just thirsty but we just go with that feeling. I'm hungry, go, I'm hungry, fridge. But really, are you? Are you though? Maybe it's time to tune in and ask, are you just thirsty? Or perhaps maybe you need to exercise because a lot of the times when we're overstimulated from just sitting and not doing too much, we become overstimulated and we just need to go and get some movement going, right? Super important to, again, be very conscious of these decisions because they really do influence and impact how we feel. And the more we're in a self-discovery, self-analyst, uh, analytical collecting data mode, and what that really means is not having a uh, an emotional attachment to our decisions, having an, uh, having a, just a analytical, here I am collecting data, no emotional attachment to the choices I'm making, simply just seeing, does this decision make me feel better than my last decision? And that's what it's about is constantly making small uh, moves and improvements and decisions every single day that better us every single day. And this is what's going to lead you to your outcome here. Seven of Pentacles is all about the energy of just keep moving forward. You've planted the seeds. Now it's just time to water the garden. Just keep making them, keep fertilizing, keep watering, stay on track, stay on course, really assess that what you're doing is exactly where you want your life to go. Make sure you're not jumping off the, the life's path and feeling like you need to do more than you need to. Just are you where you need to be and are you making the decisions that are going to honor your spirit? That's all you need to know. And in return, you will attract in the success that it is that you came here to receive. You got nothing to worry about as long as you are abiding by what works for you, Capricorn, and you are honoring your needs. Because again, remember, this is a new phase in your life, right? We're in a new time now, right? The star, the star calm comes after the tower. After big changes have been made comes the star where things are feeling a little bit you know, more calm right? And so with this calm energy of really being in a space where you're able to determine who you are and what you want also comes that decision-making process of every choice you make. Is it now who you are? And is it now reflective of the energy and, and space that you're occupying right now? Remind, remember that, right? It's like if, you know, for instance, if you're used to sleeping in and wearing sweatpants, but now all of a sudden you got hired at a job, you would have to now wake up earlier and perhaps wear a little bit more presentable attire so that the respect is, a, is, is more received. You know what I mean? You take care of yourself and in return, the energy will, will emulate that. It's the same thing for this time and space. Where are you now in your life? What have you evolved from? And what choices do you need to make in this present time that reflects 
who you feel you are. Don't neglect your needs, right? If you want to be healthy in your life, you take care of your health. If you want to um, if you have more energy, you prioritize your, your joy and your passion. If you want to make more money, you make sure that you're living an on-purpose life, which means that you're living a life following fun and not chasing money, right? Whenever we're chasing anything, we're pushing it away. But when we follow our fun and we follow our desires, that's when we attract everything in. So make sure you set the intentions for your life, set the intentions, control, control your outcome, command your outcome, set it go, let it, right? Set it and forget it. Let's set that intention go. Focus on what you really want. Forget about what you don't want. Focus on what you do want, right? Say you want to lose weight. If you're focused on losing weight, you're focusing on the problem. Instead, you focus on you want to be healthy. You want to be full of life. You want to feel, um, you know, uh, you know, excited and passionate and you want to feel, uh, you know, have a lot more energy then you want to focus on that. You want to focus on the outcome, not where you are, but the outcome of what you want. Hands over heart, angels will guide you. And in return, you will always be guided towards the abundant life that you came here to live. All right, Cap, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.